back to a new video guys. This one is the last beginner's clinic of the year with Stoke Mountain Adventures, myself being led along by Finn from Great Canadian Snowmobile Tours. We're headed up Boulder Mountain today. We got a group of eight, a bunch of uh, eager beginners, people that have ridden a handful of times. And also my dad, he's got over 50 years of riding experience and he's up here today. He's going to be running the dad camp and uh, hopefully we can teach him some new stuff. Just go to show you, you can teach an old dog new tricks. What's up Finn, what are you doing man? Lots of counter steer to be able to control the snowmobile across the slope. Got the group forming a nice line here. We're working on our side hills. Some wins, some fails. Lots of smiles though. Yeah! Nice job. We're out here working on some uh, wrong foot forward oh, side hill technique today. We got my dad. I don't know if he's ever done this before. See if he can uh, pick up what I was teaching in the clinic. There you go. Oh man, nice work, dude.
We just wrapped up some uh, side hill practice there with the group right along the edge of the trail actually which is kind of fun. Now we're going to go try and find some more terrain to use up in the trees. The group wants trees so we're headed that direction now. Got the lunch on the pipe and now it's just a matter of uh, trying to go and find some terrain that we could use for the next set of exercises get through those and then get to my favorite part of the day the mount meal review I just drug the group deep down into the trees here and uh, I was going pretty slow so I don't know how hot my lunch got. I told them all to just hang tight and I was going to go do some cooking. So here we are going to go do some lunch cooking. Sticky, eh? Hey. But at least we can see. Yeah, totally. Because I'll fill it. That's what I'm giving it to you. I'll fill yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll sneak through you guys. I'm just cooking my lunch up a bit. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
I can smell it. I think it's hot now. <laughs> yeah. Because the bull's coming at him again. Jesus. Oh. How'd I do on the cook, man? Look. Oh. <laughs> It's like I've done that before. Yeah, you practice. See the cheese? Perfect. Oh, nice melt. It is a wet and soggy morning here. Day two of the uh, Stoke Mountain Adventures Beginner Clinic. This is the last one of the year. We're garbage bagged up. We got the big ponchos on. The entire crew got garbage bags at riders meeting this morning. And uh, it's snowing up top, but we got to get through the rain. So we're saving our gear. And we're about to head up the mountain right now. Ready for another day on the mountain, Josh? Yeah. Hell yeah. You look like some sort of superhero, Dad. You got like a, a shell on the back there, like a Ninja Turtle. Ninja Turtle. That green helmet on there, hey. Michelangelo. How's the fit, dude? Nice skirt. Yeah. Don't trip on that later. <laughs> As you guys can see, it's a pretty wet one here this morning. We're heading up day two of the Stoke Mountain Adventures Beginner Clinic. And uh, it poured rain all night last night. Freezing levels are rising and uh, just hopeful for some fresh snow up top. The guys did a bunch of learning yesterday. We worked on wrong foot forward, side hill and edge control. Now today we're gonna go and exercise that some more. Find some more uh, open terrain to learn on and go have a bunch more fun. With your handlebars, right? You don't want to be like this. This doesn't work at all. The minute that I turn my toe and I open up and I face my handlebars, I have so much leverage right here. This is how, this is how far away from your snowmobile you should be. You shouldn't be in tight like this. It'll never work. Open up, use your arms. It's not strength. I'm not using any strength right now to stand like this. I'm just using leverage from my body. I'm locking parts of my body out to create leverage. This arm, this arm is dead straight. Like it's at full strain. My bicep isn't even flexed right now. It's softer than baby shit. But my, I'm standing strong on my leg. See how much movement I can, I can give the sled just by standing strong. If I stand with my knee bent, I can't, I can't do anything. So lock that leg out and force that track into the snow. bit sticky and it's a little bit deeper than what it was yesterday. They'll carry more momentum up the hill than what we were when we were practicing on that little slope yesterday. But it's really important to make that turn before you get it up on edge. If you don't make the turn you try and get it up on edge, you're pointing uphill, you just take the track out of the snow, 100% stuck every time. Get the snowmobile perpendicular on the slope before you get it on edge. <laughs> It's deep up there. speed moves right or like the whoops on the trail or if you're hitting a big climb and you cross a you cross a rut it's those really fast initial initial bumps right yeah. those, those are a little less common than the low speed stuff a lot of the low speed stuff is when we're 
through, through the gullies or we're side hilling a lot like that's all low speed moves so i use that one substantially more than what i do with the high speed it's tough to set a slit up that's good for the trail and for the mountain so i set up for the mountain the trail i just deal with it you know what I mean? so do you find that the sled is like pretty flat footed like it doesn't doesn't want to lift the skis too much yeah. is it something that, that do you want more ski lift you want less like what's the uh, maybe what's like kind of your goal like do you want it to be playful or do you want it to be kind of a little more playful. a little more playful file as it cuts through the snow right the rail profile as it cuts through the snow is staying more consistent. If you go softer on that center shock, it comes up and the rail profile gets mellower and it wants to climb up on top. Right? That in conjunction with a setting in that rear shock is what allows it to be more or less playful. The softer you go in that rear shock, the more transfer it'll have and it'll create that resistance at the front, transfer more to the rear and it'll lift the skis up more. Vice versa of all of that is if you go stiffer on that track shock and softer on the center track shock, it's going to get you up top faster. So those are changes that you can make on the fly uh, based on conditions, right? Right now we have a lot of traction. Uh, the snow is heavy, it's wet, there's lots of density. You're on a 325. If you want this thing to be playful, I'm, I'll set it to like full play mode and go send you on to a couple of slopes and you'll be able to feel the difference. You can come back like, well, no, that's too wild, or like, oh, that's pretty good. There's a bit of a happy medium with going too soft on that rear shock, right? If you go too soft there, you're gonna have lots of bottom, right? It's Especially gonna... on the trails and those whoops. Yeah, so there is like, I mean, based on body weight and body type and, and riding style, um, there is like just an equation that works for each individual. <laughs> And so for the sake of adjustment, I'm going to go all the way firm on the high speed. So the red, I'm going to go all the way in on it. I'm going to go clockwise. So it's all the way in. I don't ever really like having my suspension either all the way in or all the way out. I like to have some relief there. So I'll come back one. So that one click. Yeah, so now I'm, I would essentially call it I'm one click out, right? Same with this, uh, same with this um, low speed shock. I'm gonna go all the way in till it stops spinning. I'm gonna come out two. Okay. So it's, and they're just little clicks. One, two. So that center shock is set up like as stiff as I would consider it being, right? Now we'll go to the rear track shock. We're gonna go the complete opposite, actually. We're gonna open everything up. So now I'm all the way open. I'm gonna go in one. There's my in one. I'm gonna back this low speed all the way out. And I'll go in one. So that rear track shock is essentially as soft as it could be right now. So the rear track shock being as soft as it can be, the center track shock being as stiff as it can be, is gonna allow the suspension to transfer a lot of the weight to the rear part of the snowmobile and create resistance at the front of the rail tips, okay. which will give you more ski lift in the snow. <laughs>
on this Stoke Mountain Adventures beginner clinic. It was raining when we left the top, so I don't imagine we're going to be riding Pal anytime soon. Got the next couple of things on my schedule here. I got to go do a freestyle show. We're going to vlog out of that. And uh, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you in the next one.